What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nights 91 coming to you guys with another video. It's a 2019 NFL season, a Super Bowl or bus season for the Eagles. Well, um, Adam Rank, a writer for NFL.com, definitely believes so. Um, I found this article on EaglesWide.com. I'm going to read to you what the article says. I'm also going to read the, the quote from Adam Rank, what he had to say about the Eagles, and um, get my thoughts on it afterwards. Um, with that said, let me go ahead and get started. The article starts off saying that the Philadelphia Eagles are facing immense pressure entering the 2019 NFL season with the all-season hype train rolling even louder even louder than what it did in the during the Birds 2011 season where the group was labeled a dream team. Carson Wentz is healthy, the offense is loaded, and Eagle fans are preparing for another run towards the Labardi Trophy. For NFL.com writer Adam Rank, anything less than a Super Bowl for Carson Wentz and company will be viewed as an epic failure. Here's what um, Adam Rank had to say. Adam Rank said that for, for 2019 to be a successful season for the Eagles, the Eagles must win the Super Bowl. If you could also keep the Cowboys out of the playoffs, in fact, being the only team from the NFC East in the playoffs would be great. But the Lombardi Trophy is the only goal. There, there are so many, there are so, so many good teams in the NFC. But the Eagles have one of the top rosters, if not the best in the NFL right now. They are taking a slight leap of faith by going with Carson Wentz. But, but it feels, but it feels like the right move to me. Philadelphia is not only going to be a contender for the Super Bowl this season, but for some time to come. For rank, for rank and every other NFL analyst across the league, the additions of Jordan Howard, Miles Sanders, J.J. Osega Whiteside, and Deshaun Jackson, coupled with the development of Dallas Goddard, should allow Carson Wentz to allow to, to reach our MVP on uh, MVP heights. Subo or bust is a huge reach. But to say that the Philadelphia Eagles are entering the 2019 season with aspirations of making anything less than the anything less than the big game or or absurd. They they were an Alshon Jeffrey drop away from returning last season, and that was that was with most of the roster on injury reserve or battling injuries. This group is this group, if healthy, has all the components to challenge the, the Chiefs and the Patriots wire to wire, wire to wire in a NFC AFC NFC Super Bowl, and it all and they'll fall on Carson Wentz win or lose. So there's the article right there, and my thoughts on this are: um, Look, <clears throat> my goal, my uh, expectation for Carson Wentz and the Eagles this year are very, very high, extremely high. But but Super Bowl, obviously we want to win that big game again. But I, I I wouldn't go as far as to say if we don't win the Super Bowl this year that it's a failure. I already told you guys what my expectations were. My expectations for you know for this this um this team this year is to um is to win the division, take back the NFC East. Um I expect the Eagles to be I expect them to be in the playoffs, you know, for sure. And I expect them to win at least one playoff game. They do that, then I feel like, okay, yes, we're heading the right direction. Now, obviously, you look at this roster, man, the talent on this roster is absolutely you know, it's incredible the talent on this roster, man. The, the roster is very, very loaded. There, <clears throat> there are very few weaknesses for this team, and um, yeah. But he says that um, the goal, the ultimate goal, is to win the Super Bowl. But that's the same thing with thirty-one other teams. Everybody has that goal to win the Super Bowl. Uh, we do, we definitely do have one of the best rosters in the league, if not the best. I do agree with that. But I wouldn't go as far as to say that if we don't win the Super Bowl this year, that's a disappointment. Like I said, um, with Carson Wentz, with the weapons around Carson Wentz, you know, not just on the offense. You look at the defense, man. Um, that defense is pretty damn loaded as well overall. With the team that's around him, man, um, <clears throat> that's a team. This is a team that's built to win, right? Not just right, not just right now, but for many years to come. So yeah, I, I expect Carson Wentz. You no, know, he just got his money. Just became the one hundred and seven million dollar guarantee. No man, whatever. So I expect him, you know, playing with a chip on his shoulder because, you know, <clears throat> you know, deep down Carson Wentz wants to um, silence the people that are doubting him, you know, um, prove that it was it was a smart decision by the Eagles front office to give him that kind of money. So Carson Wentz is definitely going to be playing with motivation. There's no doubt about that. Um, like I said, man, um, I expect this team to um, be be a top three 
top five or um, top five at the minimum. I expect to be top three, top five at the minimum when it comes to total offense. You look at all the weapons around Carson Wentz. You're looking at J.J. Arcega Whiteside, Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar, Deshaun Jackson, um, Matt Collins, you know, Shelton Gibson if he makes the roster, whatever. You look, you know, you're looking at the running backs, Jordan Howard, Corey Clement. You're talking about Miles Sanders, um, Wendell Smallwood, maybe. You know, the weapons that he has with the skilled players, the offensive line is one that is, according to Pro Football Focus, the best in the league. They definitely are a top three offensive line. Um, yeah, he, he got all the he got all the weapons and all the pieces around him to be really, really successful. So I expect big numbers like numbers are Carson Wentz. He's being paid the big bucks. And when you're being paid the big bucks, you are expected to deliver. You are expected to uh, put the team on your shoulders when they need you to, 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 to show up in the clutch. And I think Carson Wentz will show up in the clutch. There's no – I don't question that whatsoever. I think he will have a great year. I expect Carson Wentz to be in the MVP conversation. <clears throat> I don't think that's asking for too much. I think he should definitely be in the MVP conversation because before he got hurt in that 2017 season – the guy was playing at a, was playing at the MVP level. He was playing at an MVP level, and despite missing the last three games of the season, the guy fit, still finished with the most touchdown passes that season. We know exactly what Carson Wentz is capable of. We know what he's capable of when um he's at his very best, man. And um you know this team is better than the 2017 um Subo winning team when, on paper. You look at the talent around him; it's a better roster. <clears throat> Going to that defense, man. Going to that defense. Defensive line is absolutely stacked. Like that that D line is absolutely stacked. Daryl Barnett, Brandon Graham, um, Malik Jackson, Fletcher Cox, Sharif Miller, Vinny Curry, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, Timmy Jernigan, you know, uh, just so many on uh, Hassan Ridgeway, you know, just an absolute loaded Josh Sweat, just an absolute loaded defensive line, man. There's just so many uh, playmakers on that D-line. I expect that to be one of the top D-lines in the league this year. Um, the linebackers, of course, um, Kamu Grugia Hill. <clears throat> you got you got you got Zach Brown. You know who we signed from the um, the Redskins, and of course Nigel Bradham. You know our three linebackers right there. Looking at that secondary, the secondary, of course, um, Malcolm Jenkins, um, Rodney McLeod. The corners, of course, being um, Ronald Darby, Jalen Mills, um, Rasul Douglas. Avante Maddox, Craven LeBlanc, you know, just, just, um, Cindy Jones, Cindy Jones, you know, just overall, man, the, just the talent on this team, man, is just incredible. I've, I've yet, I've not seen a better roster in, in a long time. This is one of the best rosters that the Eagles have had in a very, very long time. They got, but they got the potential to be a very, very special group of guys, man. And I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very pumped for it, man. I'm very pumped. But, um, <clears throat> Adam Rank, I do agree with him, man, that um the, the talent on this team, a lot of talent on this team. Subo is the ultimate goal. That's the goal that every team wants to win. Every team wants to win that big game. You know, that's what that's what every that's what every team plays for. That's what every team puts in the hard work, the grind, the sweat. We they all put it in doing all during the all season training camp to to have a moment at to have a shot at, at catch catch win that Lombardi trophy. And I think this Eagles team definitely does have a good chance of doing it. But like I said, man, I would not go as far. I would not go as far to say that if they don't win the Lombardi Trophy, that um, you know, it's a disappointment. I wouldn't go that far. Like I said, my expectations for this season, man, is for this team to be. I think they're gonna be a thirteen and three team. That's what I'm expecting. I don't. I don't. If they lose more than um, if they lose more than five games this season, that right there would be a disappointment to me. When you look at their schedule, it's such a very favorable schedule for them. Very favorable. So they lose more than five games. That's a disappointment. I expect thirteen and three, maybe fourteen and two. I expect them to be a first or a second seed, and I expect them to go into playoffs and at least win one game, at least one game, at least. Um, keeping the Cowboys out of playoffs, yeah, that's great, man. I would love to keep the Cowboys out of playoffs, but um, the Cowboys have a pretty good team over there as well. I'm not gonna knock the Cowboys roster. Overall, they have a good team over there as well. But I do expect us to be better than the Cowboys. I do expect us to win division over the Cowboys. Nobody has won the NFC East since my you no know, back to back since my Eagles done it in 2004, 2005. In 2019, 
it will not repeat itself. Um, it, well, it, the Cowboys will not repeat us as, as division champions. But um, the, the Cowboys are not winning the NFC East in 2019. You can mark my words on that. <clears throat> I expect the Eagles to take back this damn division, plain and simple. And um, I expect them to go in the playoffs, like I said, go in the playoffs and get at least one playoff win. If if I see that, then I'm like, okay, cool. That that's 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 that that's for me. That's a successful season. They go in up, they go win a playoff game. For me, that's a um that's a successful season. But um obviously others might see it differently. You know, obviously others might say, oh, this is the season with with this roster for them to win another Labari Trophy. And obviously, you know, close. You know, um, I got my fingers crossed right now, man. Obviously, I want to see another Labari Trophy. I want a second Labari Trophy in Philadelphia. We all do. And that's ultimately, that is ultimately the goal. That's the goal to get, to get to catch that Labardi Trophy, that second Labardi Trophy. And I think Carson Wentz, the motivation that he has, man, the, the guy is super motivated, plain and simple. He's motivated and he wants to win. He's tired of people saying that, um, you know, that um, Nick, Fo we should not, we should not got real Nick Foles. You, you know, deep down, even though they're very close, they're good, they're very good friends. You know, deep down, he's tired of hearing the people say that we should not have got rid of Nick Foles. I love Nick Foles, man. I wish him the best for the Jacksonville Jaguars, but it was the right decision to move on from him. It was the right decision to let him go down to Jacksonville and um, you know, have an opportunity to be, a, you know, to be a starter. I, I love Nick Foles. And I wish him the best down there. There was no, there was never no quarterback, um, no quarterback controversy like the media was trying to push. Carson Wentz was always the guy. You don't give up as much as we gave up for Carson Wentz just to, um, you know, just to, you know, kick it to the curb because Nick Foles had a couple good games and helped us win the Super Bowl. You don't do that. I still do believe in Carson Wentz. I love Carson Wentz, man. I'm not anti Carson Wentz. Uh, no, despite what some people might believe, I'm not. I just, you know, like I said, I just have my opinions on the whole contract that we gave him so early in my opinion but still love the guy man i still do believe in the guy and i think he's gonna have a great year i really do i, I honestly do believe he's gonna have a great year he should be in he should be right there with guys like patrick mahomes drew Brees in the mvp conversation with these weapons that are around him to succeed there's no there's no excuses for carson wentz there's not he has the team around him to succeed he has the weapons around him to succeed, plain and simple. And I expect big things for Carson Wentz. I expect big numbers. And he's being paid like a franchise quarterback. You got to go out there and play like a franchise quarterback. You got to go out there and earn it. <clears throat> you got to go out there and, and, and put in the time, put in the grind. And those are things that Carson Wentz already does, man. The guy, the guy is, the kid is a very smart kid. He puts in all the time, to, all the focus and effort you know, to continue to get better. And I think this kid is only going to get better and better and better. And I'm crossing my fingers, like all Eagle fans are, that um this old line protects him and that he can um he can once once and for all end the whole crap that um opposing um you know especially rival fans are saying that he's injury prone. I want him to put an end to that. I want him to prove that no, those are just two freak accidents, man, and he'll be okay and he'll bounce back and he'll go on to have a very long career. Um, seeing him, seeing him going um, out there working out without his knee brace, that's very, very encouraging. That 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 right there is extremely encouraging. Um, you know, the kid, the kid is motivated, man. And this is his team. This is his team. And we all have to get behind Carson Wentz. We all have to get behind Carson Wentz because he is our quarterback. Now, like I said, my expectations are very high for him, but they're very high for the entire team. The entire team. I expect at least two. Two to three Labardi trophies out of Carson Wentz. During the Carson Wentz era, I expect the Eagles to win at least two or three Labardi trophies. If we don't do that, then that's a disappointment for me. If we don't win at least two or three Labardi trophies during the Carson Wentz era in Philadelphia, that right there, <clears throat> that right there is a disappointment to me. This kid got this this kid got the talent. He has the vision, man. And he he's he's very very intelligent, very smart. There's no excuses for Carson Wentz not to succeed, and I do believe he's going to succeed. I do believe he wants to shut the dollars up. I do believe that he wants to show that they made the right decision, not only to not only to state to stick with him over Nick Foles, but also to um to give him that contract that he got this offseason. season. 
I wasn't really happy about I was giving the contract to him, giving the contract to him this all season, but it is what it is. That's behind us, right? That's behind us. So I believe in you, Carson Wentz, man. Um, I expect big things from you. you know, down the road, the expectations are extremely high. And the press, the press is going to be not just on Carson Wentz, but the entire team to go out there and deliver. Now, I won the Lombardi Trophy this year. We all do. But I'm not going to go as far to say that they don't win it this year, that this season is a um, failure. Like I, like I said, man, take back the NFC East and, and get to the playoffs, of course, and at least get one playoff win. You do that, then I'll be like, okay, cool. Cool. Let's let's take that and build off of it and go into the following season. But, um, yeah, I look at this team, man. I look at the talent on this team, man. It's hard not to get excited. It's hard not to get excited, man. It's such a talented roster. You know, just a great group of you know, great group of guys, man. Um, no, 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 no humongous egos. Everybody wants to play and win, and that's what I love about our locker room, man. I love that these guys that they are they are brotherhood, and they love one another. They play for one another. They play for Coach Peterson. They play their ass off for Coach Doug Peterson. They, um, Doug Peterson is probably one of the best um, player coaches in the entire league. So, you know, I look at this roster, man. It's hard not to get excited. I look at this roster, man. They, um, on paper, are better than that Super Bowl winning team in 2017. Do I think the Eagles can win can win the Super Bowl this year? Absolutely, I think we can. Will I, would I be disappointed if they don't? Well, of course I will be, but I'm not going to call it a failure if they don't. As long as, like I said, like what I said earlier, win the NFC East again, get to the playoffs, win a playoff game. And I want to see Carson Wentz be more clutch delivering the clutch like a franchise quarterback, a high-paid quarterback is supposed to do. I see that, then I'm cool. I'm cool. And I, like I said, during the Carson Wentz era, I expect at least two or three LeBron trophies coming to Philadelphia. That's what I expect. Carson Wentz, this is your team. The ball's in your hand. They believe in you. They put, they've, they've put you know, their resources behind you. Um, Harry Rose has done a great job building a roster around Carson Wentz. Um, the, the weapons, the weapons on offense, the um, the defense is pretty nice built, very built defense. You know, an amazing defensive line, man, just absolutely stacked defensive line. There's just so mu so much talent here, man, and the potential of this talent, man. I can't wait to see it all come together. I don't expect them to be. I don't expect things to be all sunshine and roses from day one. It takes time, especially a team with new guys on it. It takes time for those guys, for that chemistry to gel, for these guys to really gel together. But I expect them to, to, to get together, and I and I expect this to be uh, one of the best teams in the league. <clears throat> top top three offense, um, top top five defense at least. You know, just so much talent there, just so much talent there, man. I expect a good year. But yeah, there you have it, man. Adam Rank, a writer from um, NFL.com, he believes that um, it's Super Bowl or bust this year for the Eagles. If they don't win the Super Bowl this year, that is a, um, in his opinion, that is a uh, failure. I don't I don't necessarily agree with that. I do agree that this team is so talented; <clears throat> they they're, they're definitely going to be one of the best teams in the league. But I'm not going to go as far to say, like I said, I'm not going to go as far to say that if they don't win the Super Bowl this year, it's a failure. You know, so. I, I guess you could say I somewhat agree with some of the stuff that Adam Rank said, but I'm not going as far to say that um, it's a, it's a Super Bowl bus. I'm not going that far. <clears throat> Obviously, that'd be great. We want we want to see another Barry Trophy, but I'm not going. I'm not going to quite go that far. But anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. I've been going for 19 minutes now. You guys, let me know anything in the comment section. Do you agree with Adam Rank? Yes or no? If no, tell me why. Um, but as always, man, go birds. Spunky Nice 9-1 is out of here. Fly, you can fly. Peace.